Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, as mentioned in the application, uh, this this uh, this meeting will be in English because of uh, our partners from uh, Data Art Company. This is Sergey, and uh, he will be talking about uh, NoSQL. And uh, thank you for coming. Uh, after the, the talk, we will. Uh, we invite you to come with us to the second room, right over there, on the left side, where we will serve uh, drinks, so beer mostly, and uh, pizzas. And uh, if you have any additional questions after the talk, so we'll have time to, to go through it there. And uh, that's it. Enjoy. Uh, so give you luck. I'll be here if you need yes. it. Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, good afternoon. And uh, I'm sorry about my Serbian language is very weak. And this may be the main reason to use English. Uh, well, um, <coughs> today we will speak about uh, the modern technology stack uh, NoSQL, and uh, I tried to make some overview about uh, this uh, technology and uh, also, uh, but <coughs> keep in mind, please, what we will speak about. Uh, about classical point of view. It means that it is common vision. It uh, can be false right now if, for example, if you will measure it in uh, some conditions and for some tasks. But it is common in general idea. Uh, <coughs> briefly about me. Uh, <coughs> my name is uh, Sergei Chagalias. I am uh, from Moscow, from Russia. Uh, I have about 20 years of experience in many uh, sectors and many technology stacks and um, all weather techno te technologies was in the Java world and well, <coughs> I started from GDK1 <laughs> and uh, also I during this uh, time, uh, I have got uh, several certificates from, from worldwide companies such as IBM, Oracle, and so on. Also, also I took part in many big projects for Russian and international companies. It mostly was banks and uh, telecom companies. Also, I have a very interesting, uh, very interesting experience in open source contributions. I, uh, I took part in, uh, in uh, such projects as Apache Ignite. Apache Ignite it is a memory data grid, very interesting tool for, for fast processing and the memory processing. It also Kubernetes. OGM, it is object grid mapping, it is an OSPL extension for widely uses Kubernetes ORM, object relational mapping, <coughs> over small products. Uh, <coughs> our agenda is here. We will overview uh, types of OSPL storages briefly. After it, we will uh, focus on each storage and we try to uh, investigate what is advantages of this storage and uh, what is disadvantages. After it, uh, uh, we, try to, we try to map uh, some business uh, domain model uh, to each type of storages. And I think what it uh, helps you to make some points for you, to select some points for you. Uh, and also we will try to make a search in that model, try to search something. And it is additional help to you to, to make own understanding. Uh, after it, um, we can speak about common ways uh, to select uh, the best solution for your for your task or maybe for your project. And in the finish uh, of our presentation, I can uh, say maybe two words about a uh, company where <coughs> I work for, and because 
We are new in your Serbian market in this way. Welcome. <laughs> uh, and I think we will do this section of questions. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh, right now we can uh, select maybe next type of storages. The simplest is key value. It means what, uh, well, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, next type it is uh, column oriented storage, uh, document oriented, uh, graph, and uh, five uh, model, it is multimodal uh, storage. It means what uh, this storage can uh, provide possibilities, for example, uh, of document oriented storage and graph oriented storage. For example, you can uh, you can have row and you can put document in one uh, kill of this row, for example, but uh, overkill will use, for example, to make uh, to make relationship, for example. Something like that. And the next and the overkill will be used to build a graph. For example, graph of documents, something like that. Okay, <coughs> what is uh, key value? Well, it is simplest storage which uh, provides only two, mm, two fields. One of them it is a key, it is a key, and the next and next is value. All very simple. But <coughs> Uh, this uh, type of storage allows us to search all by key only. Uh, it is again it is classical because I can say two words about it <coughs> later. Uh, and when it is next container, and we can put to this container mostly all what we want. It can be long string and binary data. It can be, for example, structure, it was such as JSON, XML, Java class, .NET class, and so on. Uh, and the same situation with key. For example, key can be simple data, such as inter, integer, string, or it can be data, uh, Java class as well. Uh, what is about advantages? Mm. Speed. Uh, the speed of these uh, storages it is the best disadvantage, and also uh, the best advantage. And also we, uh, because uh, find by key is uh, the fastest. And uh, next advantage it is simplicity because uh, you don't uh, need to think about relations and so on. You just put uh, your value and. So, uh, what about disadvantages? <coughs> you haven't possibility to, to make search. In this way, if you need to find some value, for example, which which contains for something, uh, you need to scan all your data, all your data, and you need to process all all your values. It's very old. Or it's very long. And of course, uh, because it is a container without any relationships, in this way you can't organize uh, uh, some relations between values. And you need to think about it, how you will organize relations. Uh, and one point about uh, this stuff. Uh, about search. Mm. Uh, generally, key value storages don't provide possibility to search. It is true. But uh, some uh, key value storages, uh, such as Apache, Apache Ignite, for example, or Infinispan, or uh, Hazelcast, uh, where the tools provides this possibility and they uh, make uh, some processing of your value and uh, 
make possibility to search. It is different ways, but uh, for example, Apache Knights uh, maps your data to H2 table, for example, and you will have SQL, for example. Uh, in Fitspan, uh, for example, provides uh, uh, full text search by, uh, by Apache Lucene. Hazelcast uh, just index uh, values and uh, can make queries. Uh, next. Next, it is column uh, oriented storage. Uh, uh, the main confuse here is what I call oriented storage. It is uh, about how data will store in the storage. And we, as developers, it doesn't matter for us how databases store our data. But um, we can say what uh, usually, and it is a, again, it is a classic vision, but uh, relational databases store our data in row-based format. It means what uh, when you make, for example, insert request, uh, database creates a row and put all data in one row. And when you, for example, uh, put or update this row, uh, database just append this data to certain fields. And, and uh, volume of this row will grow. But it is different uh, situation with uh, with a column oriented. Uh, column oriented store data uh, one, uh, store uh, fields, uh, one fields in one column. And uh, uh, when we append row, uh, for example, we make insert uh, request, and uh, our database will create uh, or maybe extend each column uh, in, in where we append data in. Uh, what is the advantage of, of this uh, transformation? Well, uh, all oriented storages uh, can provide better uh, input output rules. Because, and, uh, but we provide uh, this advantage only for different types of queries, something like uh, select field from table where fields 3 are not true. Uh, and it's provided because uh, because uh, uh, database will scan only field three column, find all uh, columns where value is uh, required, and after it <coughs> it uh, maps to field one columns and uh, show data. In this way, usually it is better. But if we uh, will have, for example, select uh, start from table, well, it is very best uh, questions for column-oriented uh, storage because we need to scan uh, all columns. And it is a situation like uh, in relation to uh, Okay, what is the advantage? Uh, Column-oriented databases mostly have query language to, to search. Uh, if you look, for example, to uh, Apache Cassandra or Yandex uh, uh, Click, we provide this possibility. Um, <coughs> some queries will have better performance when uh, in relational databases. Uh, about this advantage. Uh, these uh, databases don't provide relations, uh, relations. but again, it is linked with, it, it depends on the certain uh, database. For example, Apache Cassandra uh, don't provide this possibility, but Yamatian yeah, Click House provides. Uh, <coughs> for example, uh, next disadvantage it is query oriented tables, it is a way which provided. Uh, by Apache Cassandra to to make uh, how to say uh, 
to make uh, joints. <coughs> and also, uh, if we have very oriented tables, uh, we will have an efficient uh, storage because we will have many duplicates. Uh, next, it is a document storage as well. Uh, this model is very simple uh, and it can be uh, maps with, uh, for example, for example, contract. It means that all data uh, is in one, in one container. It's similar to k values, but, uh, but uh, it is mostly JSON or XML and uh, where the uh, storage provides queries. Uh, <clears throat> what is about advantages and disadvantages again? Yeah. Advantages. Uh, document oriented storage provides a query to search. Uh, it can be advantage on it, but uh, all, that, all, all uh, data is in one document. In this way, mm, document can be very big. For example, uh, Mongo has a <coughs> limitation in uh, 60 kilobytes for one address. Uh, it is mostly uh, schemaless storages. It means what you are free to put all what you want in, in your document. Uh, again, <coughs> doc do document oriented uh, storages don't have relations because all the whole uh, data is in one document. Uh, query language is enough complex because uh, mostly it is a tree like structures. And again, it is uh, inefficient storage because, um, because of many duplicates. Uh, next storage it is. This is a graph uh, storages, and uh, uh, luckily this model is based on mathematical uh, theory of graphs, uh, it, but it is uh, direct graphs, and it means what uh, direction? It is uh, additional source of data. For example, uh, somebody can be parent of offer somebody and uh, direction of between the and nodes it is a uh, sign of uh, who is parent and who is child and uh, also a uh, relation here it is the same um, it is the same object of your domain and it means what uh, relation can have additional fields and so on uh, <coughs> what is advantages again? Uh, it is a good speed for queries that uh, joins uh, many tables, and it is true. Uh, relationship it is uh, another object of your domain. In this way, you can map part of your domain to the relation. Uh, search nodes and relationship for, uh, you, you can search your nodes or relationship by query and this is very useful. Uh, as I <coughs> said, what, uh, all graphs in databases are directed and this way direction it is additional source of data and you can manage it. Well, about disadvantages, uh, uh, Relationship with this additional object which is uh, stored on the disk. And in this way, uh, this uh, storage will have much more space when, uh, when for example, relation. And now um, it was short overview, and now I offer to model some business model and try to 
try to think about how you will uh, think about this task. Uh, for example, uh, I offer the feed about the uh, next model. We will have book, author of the book, uh, publisher of the book, and uh, publication of this uh, object uh, where we have some information about the publication, for example, year of publication, country of publication. And uh, so, and country, it means what uh, something like national uh, uh, About relations, uh, book uh, has only one after in our model and many publications and many publishers. Uh, after has many books, of course, and uh, one country. Uh, publisher has many books, many publications, and only one country. And country has many authors and many publishers. And now, <coughs> This example of uh, relational model. Uh, I think what uh, everybody of you know what is relational model, what is uh, one to one, one to many relations, and many to many. What is here? Mm, we have country which have only own ID. We have publisher which have own ID and. Uh, relates to country by country it. Uh, we have a publication which have uh, your ID, it links to book and links to publisher. We have author uh, which have own ID and country ID. Uh, we have book which have uh, it and uh, reference to author by author it. And we have association table book publisher, which have book ID and publisher ID. And now, <coughs> is it clear? Yes. And now, key value. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> you will have only five caches five containers, and so on. Uh, <coughs> uh, but each object in the uh, container will have uh, own key and, uh, and, directed, and direct keys of uh, linked objects. Uh, and uh, and, but it's mostly all. And you as a developer will need to monitor this, uh, but uh, uh, key is correct. And, and you will need to search. And for example, if you remove authors, for example, you will need uh, to find all books, uh, <coughs> what is uh, reference to the author, and remove it. And again, and Again and again, remove books, remove maybe publications, and so on. About column narrative, well, uh, as I said before, it can be, um, for some models, it can be like a relational model. For example, Yandex Click House, uh, when you uh, will have relations and you will and you can use uh, the same model as in uh, relational database. Or, for example, if you will use Apache Cassandra, which uh, provides query-oriented tables, you will have well something like that. In this way, it is one table for one query, and this table will have all required uh, data. Uh, about the document oriented. 
Well, mm, I offer this model that means what we will have book, and this book as the document will contains all information about yourself, about itself. It is uh, own key, own title, uh, data about its author, which is additional objects, the name, country, uh, about its publishers, uh, objects about its publisher, and uh, objects uh, collection of its uh, publications. In this way, this can be very big object. And about draft. Well, you can see uh, directions, but for example, after uh, has located in a relationship with another country, and publisher has a relationship located in with country. Uh, after has a relationship with book, after of, and we can append additional data, for example, year of, 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 of writing. Uh, and uh, another publisher has a relationship publisher of with uh, another book. In this way, and uh, the same way, we can append additional data to, to this relationship, uh, relationship, such as year of publication. And now I <coughs> try to use uh, all weather models in some in some search because uh, <coughs> you know what every <coughs> database is uh, is needs to it needs to make search and it needs to find something and, and store something. And uh, we will try to uh, we will try to you to, to perform next searches. First, find all books where the authors are from country called Serbia. <laughs> next search, find all publications of the book entitled Quentin Dorot. Uh, and next, it is a file of publications of the book entitled Wait Dorward, which were published by Serbian publicators. Publishers. About relations. And, well, it is our usual joys. As usual. Uh, here we try to join uh, book, author, and country, and uh, select country with uh, title Serbia. Uh, next, uh, this uh, select uh, from publications book where title is Quaint and uh, Next, <coughs> where country is Serbia. And Book, uh, the, the title of the book is Planted Door. What is about key value? Nothing. <laughs> In your plot, you need to. You, uh, first, first idea. Uh, before uh, creating key value, you need to define strategy to generate keys. Because you haven't overweight to find something, most <laughs> and to find something very fast. In this way, you need to define key, and you need to, um, to expect with this key, and you need to generate this key, which based on some parameters what you have. But in our case, it is very simple. We use uh, title of book as E for books, and uh, title of uh, country as E. And now steps to, to search all books uh, which was published in, uh, which was uh, written uh, after uh, from Serbia. Firstly, first step, we get country object. Uh, 
this object contains uh, uh, contains arrays of afters of after identificators of after keys, and uh, we will load all weather uh, objects. <coughs> and uh, each each after uh, contains uh, book identificators, and we can find all books. Uh, and second, uh, we load book object by pointing forward key. After it, we get publication it's from the book. And again, <laughs> we get all publications by publication it. And our last search, is <laughs> better. We get country. Uh, we get a book and uh, get all publishers from the book. We get uh, publishers uh, by publisher is from the country, and after it we will cross all pub publishers from uh, from country way and from the book way. But uh, keep in mind what all these operations you will do in your code. Uh, about columnary, mm, uh, if you look again to the Yandex click, well, uh, queries will be the same as in, in relational uh, database. But about uh, Apache Cassandra, well, it is very simple on the one hand. We will have query oriented table for, for this query. And just filter. Uh, document with uh, as I uh, said, what uh, query language, for example, for Mongo, and we we'll look uh, to this database, and uh, <coughs> this query allows us to make uh, tree like queries. Means that it allows us to uh, for, for example, query point title is uh, what uh, it has object, uh, sub object uh, country and title with this field of this sub object. And uh, we will try to start all our collection by this uh, field and we will try uh, to find all books where country point title is there. Uh, second query mm, the same. We will have uh, we, we will find books uh, by its title. And uh, third question is uh, we will find uh, complex condition at this title of book and uh, publisher's country title. But <coughs> also keep in mind what. Uh, result of this query will be book, and uh, after it you need, or maybe not need, to make some operations to extract data from this, uh, to, to extract some data from this book and so on. Of course, uh, Mongo has a projection, it means what you can ask Mongo to, extract, to, to return. Uh, only to, to return uh, required fields only, but but you will load your input output <laughs> because you will load book, uh, big book, uh, scan it, search it, and after it uh, uh, get only required fields. This way, it impact on performance and on the speed of play. And uh, it is a uh, query uh, for Neo4G, it is a uh, language, it's kind of uh, cyber. Uh, and it, uh, what is it? Firstly, we try to find, uh, uh, we, try to, we try to find country where title is Serbia. After it, we use uh, uh, output 
relationship located in. By this location, we will find all afters. Uh, after it, we will use output relationship after off, and we will find all books, and we will return this book. And you will see what it is over here. One, two, uh, one, two, three. That is three objects and two uh, relationships. Uh, next, where it is uh, something like that, we, have, we will find the uh, book by title. After it, we will use an inner relationship publisher all. <coughs> After it, we will use uh, inner relationship to publisher. And uh, after it, we will return uh, relationship publisher all. And I uh, think what this uh, relationship will have all data what we need. And the last question is uh, uh, we will again search country by title, use it uh, output like uh, relationship located in, after it location uh, relationship publisher to the object publisher uh, to the publisher of uh, relationship and uh, scan books by title and uh, return all <coughs> relationship so it's like that. And uh, uh, it is a uh, maybe uh, philosophic uh, subject about how we can choose our model. And sometimes it is really hard question, but sometimes it is, it is very easy question. But uh, this uh, <coughs> classical theory, uh, we need to estimate how complex will, be, uh, uh, will, uh, will our model be. For example, uh, if it is a simple model with two fields and we don't need to complex search, maybe key value is accepted for us. Also, um, we need to estimate <coughs> our requirements for performance. For example, for example, if we have some uh, extremely extremal, uh, what we need to have some extremal performance, for example. Uh, also, we need to estimate our hands-on experience. For example, uh, if we want to use some database and we haven't any experiences. Uh, over point is how we can. Uh, for example, may, uh, maybe uh, work with this database is automated, for example, Hibernate or AM or something like that, or we need to, to send direct queries only, something like that. Uh, <laughs> next point that is uh, points about support, because, for example, you can offer something very great, but your DevOps engineer said, but I don't know how I can restore it. <laughs> uh, and also we need to <coughs> make agreement. And the next point is very political point, but it is very important to me, but uh, when you make a choice, and you can go to your project manager or your customer and, uh, for example, you offer them Neo Fuji and you have uh, strong arguments to it. But your customer says, I have only PostgreSQL and you do all what you want with it. <laughs> Sometimes this help us. And now it is a uh, <coughs> couple of slides about my company. It can be very interesting for you because uh, we are new, new market, new uh, Serbia. And uh, I can say that we are an international company. We have many offices and the uh, office in Belgrade is new. It is maybe about two months. This way. We are very young here, uh, but 
we are very big in many locations and you know, it means that uh, you can, for example, sit in Serbia and walk, for example, for a customer from USA, from, from Uruguay. I don't know what is it important, but <laughs> it is possible. And the uh, <coughs> company is very big and uh, with 25 years in operation. It's a very famous company in Russia, for example. Well, enjoy. Welcome. And uh, now I think what I am ready for your questions, and we can discuss about all what I have said. Your questions, comments, remarks. Thank you. 